So my martial arts journey began in 1997 when Master Shin's martial arts school opened up a couple miles away from my house. Now being from South Korea, Master Shin's main specialty martial art was Taekwondo. But what made Master Shin really unique was he was like maybe a three or four stripe blue belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. And you've got to understand that in 1997, to find a blue belt, a three or four stripe blue belt, was incredibly rare. I mean, jujitsu as an art had not really spread yet. So what was awesome about going to Master Shins was that I got to learn Taekwondo and I got to be an early adapter of this mysterious art, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. There was also a judo coach there who happened to also be a coach at Jimmy Pedro's, which is the Olympic Training Center. So while I was at Master Shins, I got to learn from a really high-level judo coach as well. I also wrestled for my, my high school wrestling team. And by the time I was 16, I was full-blown into competing into Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I won my first Naga belt, meaning I competed in the expert division, uh, in 2010. So almost 15 years ago now. Jeez, the time. By the time I was 16, I was also heavily into coaching. I had started a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu club at my high school, North Andover High School. And we had maybe 30 students, and we had a lot of fun. We learned, uh, we had some in-house tournaments. I was the head coach, and it was just a great coaching experience. I also got to be very involved on the New England MMA scene. Um, there were some regional fighters, some guys training in my hometown of North Andover, training for up-and-coming fights, former wrestlers from my high school. And because of my background in jiu-jitsu and taekwondo, both of which I had competitive experience in, and that was very rare for the time. I got to be a big, uh, a big factor in these guys' camps, and it was just a really exciting time. 